I spoke recently with Microsoft's corporate VP, Mitra Azizarat, and asked her where should companies start when developing an AI strategy? From a strategy perspective is looking at where the you have the easiest time of setting a very uh, a sort of well understood business goal. Mm -hmm. uh, people sometimes come into AI saying, hey, uh, I just want to look at infusing AI. It isn't, hey, how do I just bring AI into the environment? It's what do you really want to impact with this? Like I said, from our finance group, it was saying, I want to improve forecasting. In our um, marketing organization, one of the goals that we had was we wanted to improve uh, the, the leads that we passed to the sales organization to have a higher conversion. It was a very specific goal. So it's important for every organization first to determine what those goals are, mm -hmm. and then to set in place um, forums that might, might not exist today where people from across the organization who would have any part of helping to achieve that goal come together. And I would say um, some of the learnings that we have even in that case, and in the case of sales and marketing uh, lead conversion, was that the sales people had the data, but the marketing people had the jurisdiction of the AI model. Mm -hmm. And so we actually ended up with a problem in that initial strategy of having the salespeople um, sort of using different attributes in the data that threw some leads out that really didn't make sense from a data perspective. And so it meant that the collaboration between the marketing group, the sales group, mm -hmm. and the data scientists had to be much closer than it was. You couldn't just put the model together and just throw the results over the fence, and the salespeople just couldn't be sort of um, impacting the data and throwing that over the fence. So when I talk about these sort of forums, after the fact, we put a forum together to bring these folks uh, together to make sure that we had the right impact.